Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Mount Asher Photography back here with another PixInsight video and we have a new noise reduction tool in circulation that is completely free to the public and I've been hearing a lot of words that it is one of the best in the market right now uh, depending on you know if you use Graxpert's denoised, or if you use the regular denoise inside of Pixensei, or Noise Exterminator, this one has been held quite high already, so what is this product anyway? Well, it is called Deep SNR, which you can find it at DeepSNRAstro.com. And a little bit of a fun fact is, it is by the creator of StarNet. If you don't know what StarNet is, StarNet is a star removing process that is completely free. This was used heavily before Star Exterminator came around, but it's by the a person named Makita who does this just completely free. So with Deep SNR, it only works right now on RGB images, but grayscale is expected to be added later and deep snr is a deep learning based software that removes noise from astrophoto so we're going to be going through how to install this since i don't have this installed on my home pc here but let's go ahead and go through the processes of that so go into deep snr astro.com head over to the download so the only extension right now, you have to manually install this yourself, which is not that much of a big deal. You can see the PixInsight versions here. If you're still stuck at 1.8.9-1 uh, or lower, you download from here. Or with me, I have the newest version right now. And if you don't have StarNet, you can download this one zip file, which I don't have StarNet on this computer since I've been using Star Exterminator for so long. So we're going to go ahead and get this downloaded. It's about a 100 megabyte file, which will take here a minute or so. And then we'll go through the process of getting this right on through. And then we will be able to go ahead and go inside of PixInsight to install this. All right, Deep SNR is installed. Well, and downloaded, I should say. You'll go ahead and open up the folder. Now, the only two things that you need is these two files. This Deep SNR weights and Deep SNR.ddl. You want to make sure you copy these files and you put it in your PixInsight bin folder. So for me, it's in the C drive, program files, down towards picks and sites, bin, and then being able to copy them right into that. And that's all you need to do. So we'll switch over to picks and site. We'll go over to processes, go all the way down towards modules and install modules and it should default it to that bin folder and all you have to do is go ahead and search if found it go ahead and select it and hit install alright so it is installed now and you should be able to find it in your processing tabs all the way down to deep SNR and this is a very easy product to use you have two buttons. You have the strength of what you want to use and a checkbox to see if it's linear or non-linear data. So for these examples here, I am going to be using just uh, linear data as it's just basically straight out of a stack. So we're going to do comparisons in between this and Noise Exterminator. So for this example, we're going to be using the Eagle Nebula. And we're just going to run the defaults. So on the left here, I'm going to be running with deep SNR. And we're going to see what happens. Thank you. 
Okay. Looks pretty darn good compared to what it is normally. Does a good job. All right, so now with the same image, I'm gonna open up Noise Exterminator and we're gonna run that. We'll say that Noise Exterminator runs much faster than Deep SNR, but does that mean it is still better? So let's go ahead and get into a point right here. Let me move these files out of the way, because these are going to be other examples. So let's go ahead and compare these two. So on the left, we have Deep SNR, and on the right, we have Noise Exterminator. And I can already see a huge difference already. Look how much the noise is just completely gone on the left. Like, that is astonishing, actually. <laughs> compare on the right, we still have noise that's generated. When you compare it back and forth, I mean, it's an improvement, but it's also denoising areas that it shouldn't. Compared to Deep SNR, it actually preserves the detail. Look at that. That is absolutely outstanding. So, already in this example, uh, the winner, the clear winner is Deep SNR. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another image here. We're gonna try my Omega Nebula. We're gonna go ahead and make a copy of it. You see, I haven't done any background extraction or anything because this is just a, a very dirty test of this. So let's go ahead and get ourselves zoomed in here to especially that dark nebula area. Let's go ahead and make it in the same view region. Deep SNR on the left. Let's go ahead and start running that. Okay, in between the two. Now, this looks a little bit weird on the left-hand side, I think because of, let me see if I can restretch that. Oh, it just makes it worse, okay. So, for this one, it looks a little bit on the stranger side, so let's go ahead and just stretch these images just as they are. And that will be our comparison. Since it's already denoised. Okay, with this one here, this is actually fairly comparable to the image on the left. What about the actual detail here? Actually, it looks like there's a little bit of some noise that started up through here. So this one here, Noise X, seems to be the winner. All right, go over to the next example. We're gonna do the Crescent Nebula. And we're just gonna run an automatic background extraction for these, because I think that's what caused the problem at first. So let's go ahead and just run an automatic background extraction on both of these images. Oh, it might help if I select it for here and to replace the image.
There we go. Okay, we're gonna try Noise Exterminator first on the right hand side. And then we'll try deep SNR on the left. Now, usually when you're doing the noise uh, reduction, you usually do it after you use Blur Exterminator. So you always do de uh, background extraction, Blur Exterminator, and then noise reduction. And you can also do this on nonlinear data too. It looks like I'm still getting the same artifacts going on here so let's go ahead and stretch out the image then Let's do it on link stretch. Okay, so the differences in between here. And looks like things are pretty. Okay, so in between these two examples, there is still noise in the background here with noise X. But on the one with deep SNR, it is completely noise free. So here again, where deep SNR is the clear winner and it preserves the detail inside of here too. This is actually, surprisingly, this is already better than what uh, I previously processed with this and I used the Graxpert denoise. And I can tell you now between this, this blows Graxpert denoise out of the water and it takes a lot less significant time too. So that's another great example here. And then we'll do one more with the North American Nebula. Go ahead and make a duplicate of it. And we're gonna do the same thing by running a background extraction real quick on the image on both of these all right we'll do noise exterminator on the right and deep SNR on the left. Okay. Now, compare to two, we'll go over to the sickness wall. Kind of do a little bit of some pixel peeping here. And from the looks of it, there's still more noise on the right hand side for noise exterminator. Looks like it generated more noise compared to on the left here, completely noise free. Like that is absolutely outstanding. Okay, so let's look out in the background here through this dark nebulae and compare the two. And already, you can see the difference. You can see this is still grainy on this side where compared to this, nothing. And it actually preserves the detail too of some of these stars and in the background. All right, let's go to another region here. Let's go right over here. So we get a little bit of both mixed in. And here, like 
it preserves the detail very nicely. So, once again, Deep SNR is the winner. So, this makes perfect sense why this is becoming a big craze all of a sudden now. And the best part is, it's completely free. You don't have to pay, you know, 60 some dollars for a noise reduction tool when you got this completely free. So, go ahead and save money since owning Pix Insight in itself is an expensive program. You would know what it's absolutely worth it. But, I wanted to show you guys the difference in between these two, and it is a definite clear winner. I'll have a link directly to where you will be able to download Deep SNR in the description below, and I hope this was a clear winner for you, because now it looks like I'm going to have to go back through a lot of my images and reprocess because of this, because this is an awesome new development too. I love when there is a little bit more competition in the market now, especially with a lot of these free tools, be able to have such beautiful results in general. So I hope this video helped today. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down for the channel here. We're getting very close to those 4,000 watch hours, so I can have a little bit of some monetization for this page here. So if you like what you see, share this video around and check out some of the other Pix Insight videos that I have. I will be having a video here really soon of some more imaging and for my adventures down a teaching space camp at Virginia Space Flight Academy. So see you next time. Clear skies. Have a good one.